The Collapsing Field and the Sands of Time by Lisa Gallus Web page, www.mysoulcenter.com These days in the field are getting downright bizarre. And yet, through the bizarreness, there is this distinct feeling, knowing that each day is becoming a new story, a closing story to an old book and each of you that show up, is expressing a paragraph in that closing. My first man of the day, set the details of understanding in motion through the rest of the day's readings, for which, I am really grateful or I would have been incredibly weirded out. LOL. There he was, now jogged to the right a few feet, his team explaining we are now out of time and space, shifting, moving into a new field of time and space. He was decked out in an outfit becoming the Grim Reaper, except the long hooded robe was not black it was illuminated yellow. Death of the old is fully underway, brought on solely because of his connection to soul and source and life. In front of him, directly in alignment with his heart field, his hands were cupped and this massive flow of yellow gushing energy was flowing from his hands upwards and arching over to the area the solar eclipse is in. However, now that area turned into a large skeleton keyhole, trimmed in yellow blank void to my eyes in the hole itself. There were very distinct patterns that made up the keyhole itself and it was all stunning to look at. His team explained too, that in his, our own way, we have been stripped down to bare bones, as corpses are. A skeleton of all that got us to this precious, life-enhancing moment as we fill into the new. If this whole visual wasn't odd enough, it was what I seen as the field in front of him that haunts me even to this morning the haunting coming from the other readings of the day. LOL. It was collapsing in on itself, like an accordion made of clear energy. I realized we are now in a magnetic pull towards the eclipse on the 13th, there is nothing we need to do or can do really. What has been set in motion is, well, set. LOL and the field of energy we have known, is condensing as we enter the three-day void of this surprisingly powerful solar eclipse. However, through the day through each person it was made clear that not everyone is set up in this dynamic energy field. The majority of life on earth, remains in that dip I had seen on the 6th of September, and from there, the energy is releasing downwards, like sands from an hourglass. Realigning things that need to be done, released, recognized and stuff. However, with that said, every one person on the face of this earth was in choice and made the choice within themselves their focus, their actions or inactions. I have the easiest of examples for this area, my own daughter. This massive end game we are in started in earnest August 1st, my daughter landed in jail August 2nd. She equally went into this position of her life with a lot of negative karma. She was either going to work through it, or let it sit and fester within her. She chose to deal, an astonishing turn for her. Of course she had the love light of you guiding her heart, loving her and even though she made bond, she didn't get an immediate release. Instead, she was held an additional 32 hours due to an error in the way her release papers were worded. 3 is action and communication, 2 duality, together is 5, change. She was finally released at 10 minutes before 7 p.m. EDT, last evening. New beginnings and completion. Had she not made this life-changing, life-enhancing shift, there would be an intense journey confined to cell walls. The sense of her soul would have rewritten experiences bigger and louder for her to look at herself and change. She changed without that being needed. From a mother's standing, all I can say is. Phew, thank you dear God. My next lady on the field, oh my dear good God, I was shocked by the visual. She was on the end of her day. So the time was much later than mine and there was her precious body now in the actual collapsing field itself, like an energy press, she was being squeezed like grape and all this energy was splatting out from her sides, my visual was around her face. Ugh, what the hell am I seeing and how the hell can I unsee this? I am not into graphic horror movies at all and this was flipping graphic to my tender eye. Thank God her team gave us an understanding of what is taking place. If we look at this accordion of a collapsing field like a recycler for cars. I made this picture vertical for a reason, to go along with all the slats I see in the field. We are being recycled into our next grander version of ourselves. Yay! 
It's only this morning that I understand the juice coming out of my collapsing beauties on the field. This lady's juice was coming out of her face, a change in identity, the way she sees and experiences herself. My next lady, kinda reminded me of it. the juice was coming out of her crown, intensely yellow as she was being crushed in this collapsing field. Can I say, these visuals were traumatic to my heart, but with this is new inspired ideas, higher skills coming online and I am sure, so much more than that. And again, God forbid I could see a few days into the future on the other side of the eclipse, I was being blocked stronger than ever before. Through one of the readings the day before, we did get a broader understanding of what these two months, September and October will be like for us. As we come through this particular eclipse on the 13th, we will start to feel the gravitational pull of the equinox energy in our whole field of life. The new version of our life solidifying, becoming tangible and real. Of course with anything comes new choices. We always have free will damn it and choice points to go here, or go there. The story is not already written, but is being written by you each day. That of course is for those on the accelerated earth, masters and body. Those on the filtered earth, there are very distinct points they will have to re-experience to make a new choice through that energy field, or keep making the same choice. My focus is on this new exciting accelerated earth. Yes, we are still shrouded in duality, it is a super important part of the game, otherwise, there would be no choice. So again we can use something in my crazy ass world as an example of how important it is to stay in our ever growing moment of now. I was doing the dishes the other day, watching the Hummers eat and fight and do their Hummer stuff and I just felt so much love and gratitude that in all the world they choose to be here with me, in my world. Then my mind shifted to the near time when they would all leave for their winter homes and I got sad and told them I miss you already. I heard my team say with such firmness but they are here now. Damn, yes they are and I will get out of the future. Same thing happened, only much more intensely when posting bond for my daughter, I was in the future looking at what seemed an impossibility and I was squeezed into here now. When we think we know something about tomorrow, we start to write that outcome in our story today instead of being open for the bounty of possibility. Through your loving heart and inspiration, my daughter's bond is paid in full and thank you, we'll never ever cover the gratitude and all from both of us. So September is fitting into our new lives, choosing the energy we will wear as our new clothes, new life, new experiences. October, we are fully dressed and ready. Like a baby who was just born and suddenly realizes it has arms and legs and a head that it has control over, it starts to move those parts, use them, strengthen them amaze themselves with their abilities. I am sure there is so much I am leaving out, but alas, my day is about to begin. I love you so much, my good God I sound like a broken record with these words, but feel into them, I do not have language to express how I, as well as my daughter, feel. Thank you for being the radiance of our new life, the story unfolding, the squished grapes turning into the wine of our next adventure together. Hugs of juicy goodness to all. Lisa Gallus. Webpage, www.mysoulcenter.com.